Don't touch that dial. We're here at the Brooklyn Bowl to interview Aston family man Barrett, the legend of the Whalers. Yes, it's Aston family man Barrett, the captain of the ship, who's been on the road before Bob, with Bob, and after Bob. Okay. So I've been on the road from 1969 until 2014, non-stop. Fantastic. I mean, what's it been like during that time, sort of touring with all these legends? Yes, well, true, we are the road runner, the, the number one who set the pace mm -hmm. for this message here, reggae, not only Jamaica, but the whole earth. The whole wide world. <laughs> and you're bringing in sort of not only the music, but I guess the politics of reggae. Can you say something about sort of bringing together nations and things like that? Yes, God. The, reg the reggae music, it is the art beat of the people. It's the universal language that carry the messages of roots, culture, and reality. So from roots to shoots, where are your roots coming from? What are your big influences in, uh, in reggae music from Peter Tosh onwards? I mean, where, where did you get your stuff from? Well, of course, from the Lord God Almighty. Mm. That's where my musical inspiration, talent, and integrity is all about. Okay. And get this message for a corner of the hurt. Uh, the reggae music, it is the art beat of the people, the universal language. And, and you brought all that together on stage in Glastonbury uh, just recently. I mean, that was quite a big gig, really. Yes, I didn't know that. That is our mission, you know. It's a non-stop event. It doesn't matter if it rains or it shines shall go out because the message is it is for all ages and all times it's about it is for both past present and the future and you've kept sort of this i mean the importance of bass in in reggae i mean can you say something about you know the band and how how that sort of matters to bring that sort of sound together Yes, you see, I love, I love singing, you know, but I never practice it professionally. So I talk on the strings and I play a, a melodic bass line for all the tracks over the years. And between Bob Marley and myself, Carlton Barrett, which is passed to like Bob, we did 11 tracks together. And, and we co-written, you know, in the publishing company, six out of the eleven. And you're writing some material now, aren't you? Some new material. Can you tell us a little bit about what's going on in the future? Yes, there are singer Ivad. Yeah, we wrote in songs together, and we have also one with the present singer here too. Mm -hmm and one with a young lady who sing with us too. And we have two other guys who sing with us time to time, Coolant and Ivad, and we have Danglin, which is at the, radio, the TV station now. So it's just like the old days, we used to have Bob, Bunny and Peter, you know? What you so know? what's your greatest memory of Bob then? Oh, the greatest memory, man. it's so good. Because we started out to do, here we are still, although we don't have Bob Marley and our Carlton Barrett, the original drummer. So his nephew, which is my son, he's playing the drum now. Mm -hmm. Thank you very, very much. Thank you. And we expect a very good show tonight, like the last time at the Brooklyn Bowl here. I'm sure it will be. Yes.